Eating so like when, when I was in high school, there was a young man, they called him Booty Head. He had an indention in the center of his forehead. They used to pick on him sexually. They say, boy, I want some of that booty. And so they grabbed this young man's head and they start doing pelvic thrusts right on this man's head. Like, I'm like, like hunching this man's head. It was absolutely positively nasty. The greatest American alive. I would never understand why straight men play gay games. Me neither, man. Because, <laughs> because if you're not gay, then stop being like that. If you make a statement right now in America, somehow it's it's automatically that's hate. And I don't have any hate in my heart for anyone. But I do think that we should be able to have honest conversations about human behavior. I, like, I believe in humanity. And so many experiences that we share, uh, I share those exact same experiences, right? You don't have to hate people, but it's certain acts that you it's like you got to you either on it or you're not. It's not the people that you want to hate. It's the acts that they hate. But, but, okay, you know? there are things that I dislike, right? But why would I hate someone else's actions? It's showing you that's them. If a person wanted to hate me about my actions or my thoughts, they could. But I think that, like, I believe in full autonomy. I have the right to live my life the way I want to live my life. I'm not a fan of chocolate-covered eggplants. <laughs> chocolate-covered chocolate covered egg eggplants. Yeah, Explain man. that because that's, that's a new one. Oh, the eggplant is the emoji that for uh, a tallywhacker. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A chocolate-covered tallywhacker. Right. He's he been, he been playing in the booty. <laughs> oh, no, man. No. That's a no-no. Um, if you have not shared in that experience, then you have no idea what I'm talking about, right? If you haven't played in the uh, the poo-poo land, <laughs> that sounds so disgusting. It is disgusting. What are you talking about? <laughs> I mean, listen to it. We want to normalize it. And I don't even understand because, like, I'm pro-human. Like, I believe in humanity. I like people. I think people should exist. Even myself, heterosexuals who are choosing not to have children, choosing not to procreate, that's an anti-human behavior. Like, don't you want more of us? You should. To bring back <laughs> your nation of people. You should want more sons. You should want more men. There's a, there's more women Family. on earth than men. You know what I mean? Isn't that, that's a wonderful thing. It is. It's, so it's that means thing. that's like, be fruitful and multiply. Even so like, when, when I was in high school, there was a young man. They called him Booty Head. He had an indention in the center of his forehead. It looked like a booty. <laughs> and people laughed at him. They actually called him Booty Head. Like, what would, that, what would that do to a person's psychology over time to be called Booty Head? Now, when I asked the question, I said, why do heterosexual, hyper-heterosexual, hyper-masculine men play gay games? I don't even know. Like, I've experienced it in sports. I've experienced it in the military. I've, I've experienced it in prison. Heterosexual men who are hyper masculine, they play gay games. And so in high school, right? Booty head, they used to pick on them sexually. They say, Boy, I want some of that booty. And so they grab this young man's head and they start doing pelvic thrusts right on this man's head. Like, I'm like, like hunching this man's head. It was absolutely positively nasty. First of all, <laughs> um, if you grab my head and try to, you're gonna, you're gonna, it's gonna be a conflict, okay? So I don't know what was wrong with Booty Hair for just letting these dudes <laughs> do that, okay? But no, hey, okay. fear, hey, fear's fear's a mother sucker, you know what I'm saying? Right. Hey, and, and hey, fear will have you freeze up, like, oh my god, I don't know what to do. These are jocks, okay? We were freshmen at the time, and so seniors, these are 21, 20 year old men. Some right. of these people, right? It was an urban school. Some of these guys were twenty years old, <laughs> mm. and they're taking a fourteen year old kid and, and thrusting they. They uh, genitals on this young man's head. So I was going to say, secondly, what is wrong with y'all that, that, that do that? In male-dominated spaces, you see a lot of homosexual behavior. and But then when a real homosexual comes into the room, they want to get like, oh my goodness, what is he doing here? <laughs> it's like their manhood is being tested. Right. It's, like, it's like who they are as a person is being challenged. Like all of a sudden, a gay man walks in the room and you think you're about to be gay? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's it, it's something wrong with you. I, I, I need to attack silly thoughts, right? Right. Because we have to be able to discuss human behavior in, an, in a factual way. As soon as you say that I can't say a uh, chocolate-covered eggplant, why are you doing that to me? Why are you making fun of me? Because, man, I've had a chocolate-covered eggplant before. Not from a man, from a lady. And I was like, this is the most nastiest thing in the whole entire world. Why would anybody want to play in, a, in some boo-boo? <laughs> yeah, man. I was like, this is nasty. And honestly, that's where diseases come from. Oh, I mean... <laughs> I'm not. I'm not a doctor or a scientist or anything like that. I don't. I don't know anything about really? the disease. I have no. I have no. You don't have idea. to be a doctor to understand that. Hey, that up there 
you have openings on your body, the, your eyeballs, your mouth, your ears, your your whatever, whatever. All of the know. orifices. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And if you're sticking that where hey, this, what? basically disgrace come out, that's just crazy on you, you know? The Go only ahead. thing that I know about fecal matter is that if you get fecal matter inside your eyeball, you get pink eye. That's the only thing I know about doo-doo, man. But I, it, I, just, I just know you get pink eye. If you get fecal matter inside your eyeball, you get pink eye. I mean, if you get fecal matter inside your eyeball, you get pink eye. If you see anybody with some, with some pink eye, you say, man, why... Why? Why you was planting your butt and, and planting your eye? <laughs> why didn't you wash your hands? Wash your hands. So that that just that just says something about your character. A lot of people said they were going to stop watching the NFL because of Colin Kaepernick. They said because this man took a knee and y'all banned him, we're going to stop watching football. But I had already kind of stopped watching football when a young lady told me this story, and she said, "I just love watching football because you can see they they thing and they tights." I said, "What?" I was like, I was shocked. My head, my my brain exploded. I was like, hold on, man. Watching the game was different. I was like, man, this is a hypersexual thing. And, and like right now, modern times, you see these big old 200 pound men. They start doing TikTok dances with each other. <laughs> yeah, man. This is a whole new different era. And, and a lot of weird stuff is going on. I never was into sports. I'm not a sports person. Sorry, y'all. I want to look. I want to be nice to everybody, right? The word weird. It's like, it's not familiar to me as this ideology has been pushed upon me. I'm more familiar with all these ideas, right? And I still don't think that playing in duty was fun. It's not. It's not. <laughs> it's like playing in dirt. If you come out the shower. I just think because it's like, it's happening to everybody, right? I think if you had an honest conversation and was like, hey, man. Um, this this activity is playing in doo-doo. <laughs> playing in dirt, playing in filth. It's filth. And I was just gonna say, if you come out the shower, you ain't gonna just wanna go outside and just uh, roll around in the mud and stuff. You, I mean, you play, clean, so. like playing in mud, I mean, the earth is natural. It's so it's a nice, good mud bath and everything. It's great you, for your skin. You start it, to itch. I'm just saying, you say dirt, man. I mean, I like to, I like to roll in sand. I like to go to the beach. <laughs> What you what do you do afterwards? You go walk. You go take a shower. Let me get all this stuff off of me so I can be clean and be. A lot of folks with the chocolate covered egg punts, they take showers too. They take showers. but it, see, but but here's the thing: it's it's a it's a moral. I'm just I'm pushing it's morals. back. You I don't want to push this on I don't, the I don't, I don't have the ability to speak stuff, morality man. because I like to fornicate with lots of women. How can how can I speak morality when I'm fornicating? Do you tell people like, oh, I'm finna go and do that? Whether you with a lot of women or not, it's not normal for two women or two men or whatever, whatever, because you can't create nothing out of that. I, so if I, you look, look, look. is... I want to be fair. I have to be fair to everybody. I think that every human person has the right to have whatever type of sex they want to have. If they want to have a, that's that's great. But don't announce it. What you announcing it for? You trying to get some type of notoriety? <laughs> what? Why are you? Hey, I'm doing. So I believe in free speech. You can be. I believe, and I believe in complete free speech. Like everything that you're saying, I had to challenge myself with these ideas. And I want to have an open and honest conversation because like we don't we don't really speak freely. When you can't speak freely, that's like being a slave. It's being an ideological slave. You're being captured. You have to say what the people want you to say. And so I had to challenge myself to understand humanity and how other people live because I know there are ways that I live my life that other people don't agree with. And so before I can tell another person, man, you can't do that. I know there are people who want to tell me things that I can't do. And so I have to start at the human perspective and say that every human person has the right, every adult human person has the right to engage in whatever sexual activity they want to have. Right. That, that, and then I want to start going to the conversation about procreation because I think that's the most important conversation. Like, People are good. If people stop procreating, then the numbers are dropped. You see that in highly industrialized nations. You know, Japan is having this problem. Britain is having this problem. They're having their problem with having a declining birth rate. It's because it's the land. They don't have a lot of land to, capacity to, to, to house all these new people that they're bringing on the earth. The cost of having a baby is through the roof right now. And why is that? Some is wrong where it shouldn't cost to have a child i like human beings i think human beings are probably one of the dopest creations that ever existed because you are one next to dinosaurs right the greatest american alive the greatest american alive the greatest american alive the greatest american alive the greatest american alive